This is a BC Eagle accounting video. Relevant revenues and costs in differential decision analysis. Hello, Business 202. This Google Hangout reviews example 23.5 on page 1182 on the topic of differential analysis. In this particular example, uh, the situation is you have a beverage company, they're calling it the Celestial Beverage Company, think Coca-Cola or Royal Crown Cola, and they have a particular product called Star Cola that just isn't doing very well. And uh, they have done an analysis where the sales of this particular Star Cola has produced 290,000 of sales a cost of goods sold of 155,000. Its gross profit is 135,000, but it incurs $207,000 of operating costs, resulting in an operating loss of $72,000. And so management looks at this Star Cola and says, gee, let's eliminate Star Cola because it is a product that loses us money. Remember, Certain costs, like fixed costs, will continue regardless if a plant is shut down. Certain amounts of depreciation, certain salaries, certain amounts of insurance that have been allocated, especially from overhead, will continue, and those fixed costs must be borne or absorbed by the products that remain after the discontinued product has, has gone away. So for the Star Cola, of the cost of goods sold, 15% of the cost of goods sold is fixed, and 25% of the operating expenses are fixed. The charge that we have for this example is to prepare a differential analysis to determine whether alternative one, keep Star Cola, or alternative two, discontinue Star Cola, is the appropriate way to go. Well, here's the crux of what we want to do. We want to rearrange this gap external reporting format into a contribution margin or cost behavior format. So let's just do that. And there you have the restructured financial statements. Let's review them. As you can see, the contribution format shows all variable costs are deducted from sales to arrive at a contribution margin, and then fixed costs are deducted from contribution margin to get at the gain or loss from operations. Let's see how that will work. In this problem, uh, we're told that fixed operating costs or fixed overhead allocated to cost of goods sold is 15% of the amount of cost of goods sold. So let's take the $155,000 total cost of goods sold, multiply it fit by 15% to get the fixed amount of cost of goods sold. In this case, you can see that that's 23,500. And just highlighting the formula for uh, fixed cost of goods sold, you can see that we've taken the value in cell B4 and have multiplied it by the value 15% that is in cell C9 to get the result in cell B19 of $23,500. Let's do the same for selling and administrative fixed costs. We would want to take the total operating expenses, 207,000, which is in cell B6, and multiply it by the 25% fixed cost that's buried in the total operating expenses, that's in cell C10, and put the result in cell B20. You can see that that amount is 51,750. And if we would add the two amounts of fixed cost together, 23,250 plus 51,750, that produces total fixed costs that are allocated to Star Cola and will not go away if Star Cola is discontinued of $75,000. Now, we need in the next step 
to find the variable costs. The variable costs for cost of goods sold would be the total cost of goods sold, 155,000, less the amount that we have determined to be fixed. So 155,000 less 23,250 will produce in cell B15, 131,750 as variable cost of goods sold. Let's do the same procedure for variable selling and administrative expenses. What we want to do is to insert the value for total operating expenses, $207,000, and deduct the amount, $51,750, that is deemed to be fixed. The result will be inserted in cell B16. And you can see that that is 155,250. Adding total variable costs together, the 131,000 for cost of goods sold that's variable and the 155,250 that is selling general and administrative expenses that are variable, that produces total variable costs of $287,000. Here's the key. If a product produces a positive contribution margin, then that product should be retained because a positive contribution margin helps cover fixed costs and may even add to profit. To calculate the contribution margin, we would take sales of 290,000 and deduct total variable costs of 287,000, which results in a positive contribution margin of $3,000. The $3,000 positive contribution margin helps offset total fixed costs of 75,000. So although the loss from operations for Star Cola is $72,000, that would be less than the $75,000 of loss, fixed costs that would be uncovered, if Star Cola would be eliminated. If the company would eliminate Star Cola altogether, there would be zero sales and zero variable costs to contend with. Still, the contribution margin would be zero without Star Cola. With Star Cola, though, the contribution margin is a positive 3,000, which helps offset the fixed costs of 75,000. So for this business, Star Cola should continue because it reduces overall fixed operating costs by $3,000. That's it for this Hangout. Thanks for watching. Do well.